Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Clock Tower 2, The Struggle Within. All right. So last episode, I spent quite a while. Uh, this says an hour and a half. It was really two and a half hours beating the first chapter. Now we're going on to the second chapter, and guess what? Apparently the game gets much, much worse, if you can even believe that. Apparently, for even people who like this game... Which is which is an accomplishment in itself. The the highlight of the game is apparently the first chapter. I don't know if you can call that a highlight, but okay. So I have the walkthrough page open on my phone here. For now, I'm just gonna wander around, and we'll, we'll... well everything seems normal. Okay, we're just gonna explore, learn the layout, learn what we need to do, and. It, when, it, when I when I get stuck, then I'll start using a walkthrough, and we'll get like every ending I can get. Run, Alyssa. You found a key to the drawer. Out of the ambulance. Check. Well, everything seems normal. So I guess I can't check it. Everything is normal. I wonder if I can hide in this scenario. Doesn't seem like there's anything else. I found a key to a drawer in a drawer, so I guess we'll find out where that goes later. Room 103. Written in good old-fashioned Japanese. Because remember, we're in America right now. Oopsie. Even though this is an M-rated game, you know, a mature audience cannot comprehend Japanese people. They have to be Americans. Room 104. This one's dark. It is the same room. Anything? Turn the light switch on? Hmm. What about this locker? Everything is normal. Everything is most certainly not normal. <gasps> ah! Fuck! Startled me. Um. What? What? What's going on? Um. Green skin lady attack me. Is she is she gonna follow me? Oh yeah she is. That happened because I checked a blanket? Oh of course. Run for it, Alyssa! Okay, I can't do anything with the elevator. Is she, she supposed to be a zombie or something? Like, is that what the yellow blood was? And the green body parts before? I don't explain the yellow mist stuff. Is it like corrupt people? Uh, I can check this chair, apparently. She just disintegrated. You don't, you, you don't need to leave the room, Alyssa. She, she disappeared. Are you fucking kidding me? 
I just got rid of one. Oh. Oh no, the music's still going. Oh boy. I... Okay, cool. Chair's gone. I don't think I can check stuff in this room. Until I'm not being chased. I guess I can get on the elevator. Can, can he? Where did I go? Did I go up or down? I think I didn't see what button she hit. Wait, did he get on the elevator? The door is locked. Of oh, fucking course it is. Oh, goody. Yeah, run right into him. No, no, don't go for the elevator! Oh, no. Oh, no. I go back out and run to the left, can I? Yeah, I want to explore. If I turn up the lights, will it make him less likely to notice me or something? Ah! There's nothing in here! Oh. Game over. How do- what am I- what the fuck am I supposed to do? Like, they gave me a fucking chair, and that's it. I'm gonna have to take the elevator back up after all. No, 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 oh no. <laughs> she always runs back to, like, the, the last door you came out of. This is atrocious. Like... Like, the chapter just started. I... How do I... How am I supposed to do anything about this? Come on. Okay, I slip by him. I can only move in a 2D plane here. Well, a restricted 2D plane in this room, really. It's just... Oh, this is so stupid. I'm beginning to believe the warnings that the game gets worse because it already is. All right. Oh, he's already behind me. So all I can do is just another chair. Just like Death Road to Canada, chairs are their weakness. You don't, you don't need to leave the room. Oh my god. Okay. Okay, clearly I'm gonna need to save the game whenever I move anywhere. Keep file one. That's gonna be the, the start of chapter thing. I might need that. I don't know if I do anything to lock myself out. 
All right, now let's carefully look around. Those chairs don't come back, too. So what am I going to do? Oh, there's another zombie body there. Cool. Everything's normal here. She's gonna get up if I get up if I check, but I have to check anyway in case I'd have missed something. They're all dead. <gasps> oh, who saw that coming? What's happening here? I'd like to know too. Oh, there is a key. Okay, good. Good thing I double-checked her. I could have easily missed that. I'm gonna save again. Now, well, let's say a closet key. A storage key. Okay, so I've got a key for a drawer and key for storage. Could the storage be this? There's a locked door, I think, on the other floor, or is it this floor? I don't know. I'm just disoriented because of dealing from that other zombie. I don't even know why they have light switches. They don't seem to affect anything at all. We have here. Look at all of these files. Everything is normal here. Okay. There's a chair there. M use it. I don't know. I have to find a way to trigger baits. Well, actually, just put the amulet down. Can I place it on a shelf? You've put down the amulet. The amulet is placed here. Okay. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take it again. First, I'm going to... take a look around as much as I can as Alyssa. Oh, fuck off. Of course that happens. Look around as much as I can as Alyssa. I probably should have just run back in that room. Because they both see different things, so I need to explore as both as both of them. I, I gotta cover everything as Alyssa first, though. And again, this is one of those games where looking at something apparently affects your ability to progress at certain points, even though the, they're two entirely unrelated events. You just have to deal with it. Oh! I can use this. Ow. Melt. <sighs> Alyssa. They're gone. You don't gotta do it be like that. Oh! My god! This is worse than the third chapter of the fucking last game, where Scissor Man would not stop spawning, and I had to keep running to that one room to get rid of him. Okay, I can't even check this door here. Can it check light switches while I'm being chased? I don't understand the significance of that, though. I'm gonna have... The, the washroom. Can I hide? No, there's a broom in here. Come at me. Oh. Pow! It melted again. Now great, you're gonna you're gonna automatically leave. And you know what's gonna happen as soon as you as soon as you walk out there? 
Oh, thank fucking God. Okay. Let's try to explore. Keyword being try. There's a fucking zombie in one of these. I'll be in big trouble if someone finds me here. Uh, why? This is the this is the woman's restroom, isn't it? What are you up to? What? What? I'll be in big trouble if someone finds me here. What was that voice? Does that come from outside? That wasn't Alyssa. It just said woman. That was fucking weird. I, ch I need to check that again. That was... I feel like I just missed something. Can't check anything with the lights off. Duh. No one is there, but someone was there. Sink? Everything seems normal here. What the hell was that? I'll be in big trouble if someone finds me here. I can't tell if this game is being cryptic or if it's just unfinished. It's probably the latter. Okay, let's try the men's room now. Every time... Oh. Oh, she physically can't open that. You know, because, you know, in the, given the circumstances, it would be rude. And socially unacceptable. Maybe Bates can go in there. That's probably the gimmick. We still gonna look around as Alyssa. Then I'll switch to Bates. I'm not recovering anything, though. What? Is that a... Oh, it's a vase. Vase, whatever. That was a body part. Everything's normal. Okay, is there a drawer in here I can interact with? My past. <gasps> My cursed past. Wash it away, please. Jesus, that startled me. Okay, so there is something to this. Your, your, your cursed pass? Past? Okay. Why are we going through this as baits will, would yield? You've discovered a pistol. Okay. That's good. Baits can probably one-shot the zombies then. But Alyssa, wait, maybe Alyssa will shoot with it. Because, you know, last time she probably wouldn't shoot because it was someone she knows, Stephanie. Okay, looks like there's nothing else in here. Everything's normal at the vase. So every time I open that door, I'm expecting to hear the... Hear the startup of the music. Okay, last room in the hall here. I still have other areas to check. Oh, fuck off. Nope.
hitting anything in this room. Wait, I can probably bump them with the with the vase. Seems like a lot of these zombies are probably scripted. Nope, I can't. Oh wait, I can check this locker. I couldn't check before. Oh, a hiding spot. Amazing. They finally fucking thought of one. Nothing here. Better leave. Get me out of here. Unlike the previous game, your energy doesn't recover unless you find a first aid kit. Check in here again. So I'm going to have to deal with red health until I learn where the healing spots are. And even then, I can't check them while I'm being chased. Oh! Fuck off. So he's gonna always be in here. Maybe I can use that to my advantage. I can use that to summon baits when I need them. Okay, I found a, re a reusable hiding spot, finally. This game is really lacking these. It needs them. They were the only reason Scissor Man spawning so much in the last game was tolerable, because there were so many to use. In this game, it's just like, oh, run around and hope you find something. Or switch personalities and have a gun. Alrighty. Okay, don't go to the far right room. I can't check that out as Alyssa right now. Have I screwed myself out of the ends? I want to try and get all the endings in this chapter. Even if I somehow beat the chapter, I'll go back this episode. We'll try and do that. It's locked. Why? It's probably dead. Probably dead, but you're not going to try. Over here, Alyssa. I tried going in here before, didn't I? But I got stuck because of the doctor. Is there a... It's a person! Who the hell? Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to yell so loud. It's okay. I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm just a newspaper reporter. Newspaper reporter? Yep. I'm Doug Bowman. Pleasure's mine. I'm going to poke around a bit more. Poke around? Don't you know? There's a big story here. A whole lot bigger than I thought. See ya. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's zombies! Don't you think maybe we should, uh, prioritize survival? Nah, of course not. Who fucking cares? What's this? George... Maxwell? That is a name. Oh, she's moving on- she's moving on her own. Alright, so I'm guessing I had to look at that in order to... Trigger. I'm gonna save here. Trigger something for the the story to progress. Okay. 
You know, it's kind of funny how I'm in a hospital, but I can't seem to find a first aid kit anywhere. Ugh, speak of the fucking devil. Never mind. Never mind. I found it. Talk about time in there. Okay. Am I on the first floor? I think that I started in there, didn't I? Yeah, I think I did. I know where there's a first aid kit, that's helpful. A lot of stuff looks pretty samey in this game though, so it's gonna still need to learn the landmarks a bit. I had the same problem with the house in the first chapter. Oh. Oh, it's the exact same one. Yeah, 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 just, just stand there. All right, so... Was it here? No, that, that's the one that takes me to a hallway. This takes me to, yeah, an office. Did I check this office out when I wasn't, wasn't in chase mode? I don't remember. I'm gonna go back there. There's still Japanese characters there. I don't, th I don't know who you think you're fooling. All right, he's at the end of the hall, past the bathrooms. Well, the very last one is a zombie. This one right here is good. There it is. Here's what we're gonna do. I've looked around for enough, long enough. I'm gonna put the amulet down and I'm gonna become Bates because I'm getting kind of fed up with these things. I can't even look around. I assume the vase is there for me to, yep. Put the amulet down. You have put down the amulet. Okay, I'm gonna make another save here. Can't use, because so I'm moving. Whatever you say, bucko. And there's a zombie in the room to the right. Baits, I just need to be attacked. Loud noises. All right, bo boy. Oh. It's time. again now. I'll leave that room alone still. The room that that zombie guy's in. Um. Oh, really? Wait, no, that's how you pick up the amulet. Fuck, 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 fuck. Hey, you can't go pick it up. Okay, 
Shot him, he's dead. Okay, so Bates isn't even allowed to hide. He's too cool for that. Now let's finally look in here now that he's dead. Blood on that sink. Everything is normal here. I can't look at it. Why would I? Not like that makes sense or anything. Let's leave the bloody sink alone. All right, men's room. Oh my God. No, no. Yeah, yes, Bates, just walk on over there. Oh, you're gonna be the fucking death of me. Back in the room. Finally, Jesus. I just don't leave. Don't leave the room, Bates. Don't. Please don't. Please don't. I swear to fucking God. This can't be this can't be a serious attempt at a horror game, right? It can't be. There's no way anyone could fuck this up this badly. There's just no way. choice but to use the bullet again. No, no, don't leave the room. You don't need to leave the room. You don't need to leave. Because every time you leave and re-enter somewhere, there's a chance of a goddamn zombie being in it. Okay, you couldn't, Bates couldn't check this, or Alyssa couldn't check this earlier, so what's over here? A computer? A drawer. Everything is normal here. Of course it is, of course it is. There's a chair. Or another drawer, maybe. I have a pistol left where it is. Alright, so I know where another pistol is. You know, because I'm sure in Japanese hospitals and homes, they just have guns lying around. Oh, wait, no, we're in America. Okay. No. Oh, okay. That's cool. 
See the signs right there. They say American Hospital. In good old American English. And I won't be hearing anything otherwise. You can't go in the girls' restroom. Hee <laughs> hee. This chapter is killing me. All right. I don't think I looked around in here. There's Alyssa anyway. I gotta check it out. Ms. Bates. Yeah, I did check this place as Alyssa. That's where the zombie nurse was. Everything is normal. Can't seem to check out anything else. Go through the door. Everything is normal here. Okay, Bates can check this spot. I don't think Alyssa could. This drawer is locked. Well, I have the key for it as Alyssa. Why couldn't I check it as Alyssa? Because game design. You found a shotgun. Oh, yeah, because that's something you could just put... That's something you could just put in a desk drawer. A shotgun. Okay. Well, I know where guns are. That's a bonus, I suppose. Oh my god. I just don't know what to do now. Anything else I can interact with while I'm around here? Check out here as Bates. I wonder if if there's anything important important changes when you check meet that uh, um that Doug guy as Bates or Alyssa. Anything up? Uh. You found a first aid kit. Right, that's where that was. Okay. Anything else you want to look at, Bates? Anything? Maybe. I use the... I still have that storage key. Of course all the loud building noises have to happen when I'm recording a silent game. Why wouldn't they? Oh, I fucking... I'm not surprised, but at the same time, I am. Just, just get over here. Get over here! This is the most unfair crap I've ever seen. Well, not... well, rather, it's not really unfair, it's just really, really annoying. Pajama man. I leave the room. I leave the room automatically. So that means when I go back in, <laughs> he's going to spawn again because this game just loves me. Right? Oh, I was joking and I was hoping you'd prove me wrong. What the fuck am I supposed to do? I can't get, I like, I physically can't get by him. Because whether I shoot him, or I go into panic mode and shove him, you automatically will run back to the door you just came through. This is some great A levels of horseshit right here. I 
always open the door at the same time as me. Okay. Check. Hurry, hurry, open it. Get the shotgun. Hey, thank you. Well, at least he's polite about it. That is a tiny shotgun. That is like a fi that is like a Fisher Price shotgun. Hit everywhere. Yeah. Wait. You shot, but you didn't run a run out of the room. What is this nonsense? Oh good fucking lord! I I need a walk through now. I can't stand. I can't take it anymore. All right, let me see here. Let me see. Da, 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 da. Let's see. Need going to chapter two, and then we're gonna see what I did here. Chapter two, chapter two, chapter two, chapter two. For the love of fuck, where's chapter two? Once again, shout-outs to this amazing walkthrough. You'll be in room 103 of the hospital. These rooms are kind of the same, but you should be able to work out where to go regardless. If you're not sure, you can examine the panels beside the door. See what room is what. Okay. Inspect the stand by the bed and get the drawer key. Did that. Hallway ward. Okay, move along the hallway. Pass the other rooms until you get into the double glass doors and back wall. Click on them to get a cutscene. After doing so, head through the... Wait, what? There's a cutscene by checking the double back glass doors. Well, I couldn't do that because uh, Alyssa is... Let's see here. Single door... I will now I will note now that this level is full of zombies, so you're basically going to have to work your way around them. The easiest way to do this is to head into hallway two, which blah 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 and use the broom in the toilets to kill the zombies with Oh, I can reuse the broom. And then return there. Okay, so I need to go to the second floor. That's what I need to know need to do. I think I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go pick up that other pistol, and I'm gonna go get my amulet back. In here, right? And here is where the pistol was. Found a pistol, but oh come on! You can't carry that in the shotgun at the same time. It seems. All right, I left my phase at the end of the hall here. I can't use the broom strategy, well as baits anyway. Bates hasn't been a whole lot of help, but or seen very many different things. At least I can you can check the drawer. Left it here, right? The amulet was placed here. Pick up amulet. Yes. You pick up the amulet. All right, I'm Alyssa, Alyssa again. Check this thing. You found a pistol, but left it where it is. All right, where I found where there's other pistols, two other pistols in the same hallway. Good to know. All right, now there's still that bloody sink in this room. Is there still a zombie in here? I fucking hope not. There better not be. Okay, 
Okay, good. All right, Alyssa can check the bloody sink. Blood. And she can hide there. Doesn't get rid of the zombie though. All right, so I need to find another character and trigger a cutscene. He's on the next floor, though. Smash the button to make her run. I think now's a good time to make another save. Save on two. I'm currently reading the section that'll get me the next ending on my list of going backwards through the alphabet. Wait, what? Was that? Is there something there? No, it doesn't look like I can check that. All right. In here, actually, there was. An, I, apparently, I missed a cutscene because I was being chased. Please don't trigger a zombo. Yeah, this hair. Are you trying to escape? <gasps> there is no response. All right, so I probably had to do that as a part of the of triggering the proper event triggers anyway. Event flags, triggers, whatever. Okay. I swear to God, I'm going to push the button one of these times, and there's going to be a zombie just waiting in there. Huh? Oh. I guess that you can slightly change it. I, I, thought, I thought it was all just one... Okay, so yeah, there's only two floors. I thought it just took you up or down regardless. There's actually two trigger. <sighs> I have to go back down. I have to go all the way back down to the broom. Oh, no, wait. The wrong thing. I guess I was just dumb lucky before. Because Alyssa is too delicate and can't use guns. Meanwhile, Bates can't go in the woman's bathroom and use... And use the broom in there. Oh, he's, he's on my ass in a second. now, Doctor. Come along, Doctor. It's time for your physical. So I'm I, the walkthrough says I'm supposed to go and meet a character on the next floor. But apparently all I can do is keep going back up and hope the zombie doesn't spawn. Because if it does, the only way I can deal with it as Alyssa is to keep running back to the woman's bathroom on the on the lower floor. I I, I can't believe the game was released like this. Like, from what I understand, the company was going out of business, human entertainment, during this game's development. So it probably isn't in the was it probably wasn't released in the best shape it possibly could have been, but even so, it's like, Jesus. Uh 
I can sympathize a little bit with that, with those circumstances, but... Oh, yeah, see, there he is. Anyways, let's shut up and listen to him. I still think Tate's the guy who did it. Uncle Philip? There's a creature here, too, with yellow blood. And Tate's missing. What happened to the voice acting? Missing? No! I think we should go over to the lab. Oh, okay. It's the boss there, isn't he? Yes. All right, then. Let's get out of here. I'll go over now. You you come later. There, There's zombies here. Can, you're a cop. Protect me. You are the most incompetent police officer I've ever seen. All right. Well, I triggered that, so I'm gonna make another save. I'm gonna keep saving on file two for now. So yeah, I don't know if that's an emulator issue or not, but the voice acting just stopped in the middle of there. Anyway, let's see. Let's see, talk to Alex Corey. He explains the details of the case and then suggests going to the lab Philip Tate works for. Go back downstairs after he leaves and re-enter the hallway one. Get rid of the zombie by making your way to the toilet. Again. Once we check that's on, you'll hear the same voice you heard at the door. Okay, I already did that. So let's see, I need to go back to the first hallway again. That's what it says to do. I'm just gonna follow the walkthrough, everybody. Because good God. If, I, if you leave this to myself, I'm just going to be running into the exact same zombies over and over, and I'm not going to have a fun time. I don't even know if you can actually go in the men's room. Because I can't deal with the zombie in there. This is the first hallway. I'm back here. Now what am I looking for? Go down two doors. Through. Okay, you, you, you don't want me in this hallway then. You just wanted me to trigger a zombie for no reason. That's a weird... This walkthrough is written so weirdly. Okay. Da, 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 da. Just to the right and into room 101. Okay, so I need to go to the other hallway. Marked by the door with glass on it. This game is a struggle within, all right. I've got a shotgun. I have uh, no reason to really become Bates, apparently. Which one's... which one's... 101? This one. That's where it says to go. Room 101. Turn on the light switch and check the sink. Okay. Hmm. Everything seems normal here. There was a cutscene with that woman's voice here. That's what it, I think that's what the walkthrough wanted me to do here. After the scene... Turn the lights, grab the pistol in the locker, don't, can't do that, and put the amulet down in the vase by the left bed. Alright, so this may be a branching point, so I'm gonna make one more save in the middle here. Okay, let's see, how close am I to... Oh, wait. This walkthrough doesn't seem to... Oh. 
There, uh, apparently, uh, I don't know if this walkthrough is just formatted weirdly, but there aren't any bad endings I can apparently get here. Weird. Hang on, let's roll all the way back up here a bit for a second to confirm this. Make sure I didn't miss something. Oh, okay. Last ending I got was that. Okay, so yeah. This is the next section after the last one I did. All right, then. So yeah, the walkthrough just continues on to get me to chapter three. It doesn't lead me into any bad endings like the other one did. Can I even get bad endings here? Maybe not. All right. All right, now I need to turn into Bates. I can do that by probably going in here. Or the, oh wait, no, I can't go into the men room, men's room until after I change. Nope, he's not here. Maybe if I turn the lights off. I've already checked the bloody sink as Alyssa. Nope. Now that now what I need a zombie. Now they don't appear. Okay, let me see here. What? I didn't press that. I'm mashing L here. I guess L just works as a cursor input. Let's see now. Once it is dead, go back to hallway one. Enter room 104. Lights and check the nightstand beside the front of the bed. Okay, so once I'm Bates, I need to go back to the starting air hallway again and go inside the rooms. But first, I need to become Bates. Odds are I'll probably fucking find find somebody along the way. So let's just go in here. So it looks like we won't be seeing a bunch of bad endings unless this walkthrough is wrong. Looks like we'll just be, this episode will just be going through chapter two, as it were. What is this room? I need to be in this area, but... Oh, door is locked. Is this what the storage key is for? Forgot about this room. Door is locked. Okay. I need to go into room 104. And he's not here. Come on, zombies. The, t the moment I finally need you. There's that infinitely spawning one in the men's room, but I can't go in there until after I change. What the hell is with the building making these weird noises today? Room 103. Okay, that was the room I needed to be in on the right. Now we play the waiting game. Really? Hang 
a second. So why do I need to be in there as baits? Let me just check this again. Hang on a second here. 104. That that bundle of blankets that triggered that one zombie at the start. Apparently I need to check it as baits. Maybe checking it as Alyssa will summon a zombo again. Everything seems normal here. Uh, walk through. I don't know. That's inside. Turn the lights. Check the nightstand beside the front. Left. Okay, so there's a nightstand in this room that I can only check if I'm Bates. So I need to turn into Bates. But now the fucking zombies won't even spawn. When before, they wouldn't leave me the hell alone. That's wonderful. It's like this game is just out to get me. There's no other explanation. Let's go up the stairs and hopefully a zombie will spawn. And then they'll stop spawning. Oh my god, really? I need you, I need you to spawn now, though. You can't do this to me. Um, there, there's a guy there. Do I want to, do I want to interact with him? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> it's all over. He's the one who did it. <laughs> Excuse me, but... Huh? You? Those creatures can eat you instead of me. And while they're chewing on you, I can escape. Yes, that's it. What a great idea. You've gone crazy. <sighs> <laughs> Hurry up and get eaten. What's going on? Game over. Okay, so I didn't even get a chance to, um... I didn't even get a chance to go into panic mode there. So I physically can't do anything in this room until unless I'm Bates, it seems. Zombies! <sighs> Come on, I need a zombie now! This is the worst mechanic ever! The door is locked. It's probably what the storage key is finally for. Yes, it is. Since I apparently can't get locked on some bad endings, I may as well just fuck around. So annoying. I can't even do what the walkthrough wants. There's a uh, there's a girl there. Look at all this junk. Is this really a hospital? Yeah, I know. There's just guns hanging all around. Wait, is there something else here I could check? Oh, that's where I am. Look at all this junk. Is this really a hospital? This is the end. Everyone's gonna die. To wander about forever? You sound scared. Yeah? Excuse me. This is the end. Everyone's gonna die. To wander about forever? Yeah, yeah. You, um... 
Yep. That's probably the most least interested voice acting I've ever heard in my life. Everyone's going to die. We're all gonna die. It's over. I'm sad. Okay, so I, I can't do anything in here. I'd be able to try different stuff if I could fucking turn into baits. Oh. Jesus Christ, are you fucking kidding me? Go back down the stairs, I guess. They, they really should have made it so that you could switch to baits at the push of a button, for God's sakes. This is ridiculous. I have to run around and hope an enemy spawns just to be able to do that. I don't even remember where the hell I left the amulet at this point. I put it in a vase, right. I, I could just gotta keep running in and out of rooms, hoping. Earlier, they wouldn't stop spawning at all. Now they won't spawn. I need one. Just one. This is some quality fucking game design right here. Suddenly, it turned into a fucking RPG where I need to hope for that- find an enemy to get that rare drop. <sighs> Maybe something will happen if I go and do that cutscene again as Alyssa. Oh wait, no, I can't. I couldn't do it as Alyssa, that's why I had to do it as Bates. Will one of them appear in the washroom or something? Which will be bad, because that's where I need to go. What? Well, no, then again. Oh, I forgot. I just have to try going in and out of every room until one spawns. I know they inf I know they can respawn. I've dealt with the same zombie more than once. That much is clear. There can't be anyone out there that defend that defends this game. There can't be. It's it's just too bad. fuck was that? Well, I guess one appeared. Sounds different, though. Okay, it's you. Alright, finally. Finally! Ooh. And you're gonna run. You're gonna run all the way back here. Alright. I'm making a save after this guy. This one's dead. Because the lights are off. It won't let me save in this room for some reason. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh 
Oh boy. Save on number two again. Okay. Now let's finally go to room 104. And now that I've become Bates, just watch. It's going to endlessly spawn zombies again. I think this just might be the worst video game sequel I've ever played. Well, it's a spin-off. They only made it, they only titled it a sequel in North America. So I suppose I can't give it too too much flack and at, at like in as a sequel. It's still pretty god. It's still pretty ass though. Okay, room 104. To check the nightstand that Bates can only check for some unknown reason. That room's locked. If there's a zombie in here, so help me God. Okay. Don't lie to me, walk through. Don't lie to me. Okay, the starting nightstand. Looking for something? Really? Wasn't even an item. You can just only do that it only do that as baits for some reason. Cool. Real cool. Make another safe because I'm salty. Alright, what the hell do I do next game? Let's see, 104. You need to use the storage key. Okay, I need to talk to the nurse as baits. I wonder what happened if I talked to the crazy doctor as Bates, but we'll, f we'll figure that one out another time. For now, I'm just gonna do what the, oh, right, wrong way. Just gonna do what the walkthrough says. Was it here? No, 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 this is the wrong office. It's upstairs. It's upstairs. Come to think of it, why does a hospital not have a staircase and only an elevator? That is a massive fire hazard right there. In fact, why does a hospital only have two floors? Here it was. Hey, what are you doing in here? This is the end. Everyone's gonna die. To wander about forever? Yes, yes. Yes. The creature out there. What is it? Which one? You wanna answer, huh? If you're not gonna talk, then I'll kill you. He'll do it too. The file in my office. You'll find your answer in there. That's the most emotion you've shown today, girl. All right. Did that. Let me see here. Let's see. Da, 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 da. Talk to one. 
go around the middle shelf and check the boxes close the screen for a screwdriver but I already did check that oh no these ones I check these as everything's normal here There's a screwdriver, apparently, I can get here by... These. Okay, I guess maybe I missed this, but for all we know, Bates could probably only pick it up anyway. Found a screwdriver. I would have missed that. Oh, hang on a second. Can I check it again for anything? All the rest is just junk. Okay, where do I go next? Let me see here. Talk to the nurse, get the screwdriver, go back to the hallway, go into the door on the left side. Ah, oh, okay, now we're gonna go talk to the crazy doctor. I'm making another save because I'm paranoid. I'm not just paranoid, I'm regular annoyed. Wait, those things... They sound the same, but they're, they're, they're technically they're unrelated. Well, I don't care. I'm frustrated and salty and grumpy. Care about my feelings. All right, let's see what happens when Bates talks to this dude. <laughs> it's all over. He's the one who did it. <laughs> hey. Huh? You? Those creatures can eat you instead of me. And while they're chewing on you, I can't escape. Yes, that's it. What a great idea. He's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Hurry up and get eaten! Pretty good for a coward. <laughs> They'll eat you up! Jesus Christ, this guy's voice. I'm kind of surprised that they recorded multiple laugh, laugh, laugh uh, sounds for him, but Stephanie got just the one. <laughs> Table drawer is locked. Well, I don't have a. Uh... Is that what the screwdrivers were? Hang on, it's all in the walkthrough here. <laughs> Henry Kaplan, the director of the hospital. Bates will kick him over. Use the screwdriver on the desk by the phone to get the back door key. Return downstairs to the office on the first floor. Use the door on the other side of the office to reach the second office. All right, I, I, okay. You, you just keep twitching there. Key to the back exit. It's not bad. I need to go back downstairs. We go. I get the feeling that I'm not going to want to go for every ending after all. Honestly, 
once I beat the once we get the true ending, it's gonna be that's enough for old Christian. That's enough for a lifetime. At least all the zombies seem to have finally fucked off. Maybe I maybe I did really kill them all and I can only rely on the random one that appears when you're idle for a bit. Okay. Oh, that office. The office with all the files. Of course, it's so obvious. As Alyssa remarks about all the files that are there. It's in here. Okay, it's... Everything is normal here. What? I guess it's on the desk. Cerebral toxin. Confidential. Interesting. This makes sense. Getting infected with cerebral toxin turns you into a zombie. The bacteria forms a new parasitic brain and makes the old brain stop functioning. Perfect sense, yes. means the zombie's weak point is their parasitic brain. Oh. Got to try. Well, they die one shot anyway. I don't really see the significance. All right. So I did that. Make another save. That's right, folks. The zombie's weakness is their head. Good thing we know that now. Back door key. Got that. Let's see. Shoot the zombie that comes in. Return to room 101 and pick up the amulet once you have done so. Return to the storage room to talk to talk the nurse out of killing herself. Okay. I need to go get my amulet. Where did I put it? The vase at the end of the other hall. I'm running low on shotgun, but I know where two other pistols are, I think. Too bad I can't carry a shotgun and a pistol at the same time. Ugh. It was in here, right? Next, I need to go talk to the nurse again. Without a walkthrough, you this this whole chapter would literally just be running back and forth, just hoping to hoping you stumble upon what to do. And even when you do, there's not a whole lot happening. It's just ugh. I hate this chapter so much. Get in there, boy. Went upstairs.
All right, nurse. Ah! Don't do it! Nurse, stop! It's all over. I have no desire to live. I can tell. If you commit suicide now, you'll turn into a zombie. Me too? Dead. But alive. Wandering forever. No, don't, please! Why did this suddenly turn into Resident Evil? Um, I, I talked to her. First aid kit. Oh, okay. Did, did I do it? Okay, so did, did I do it? I, I guess I can't check her anymore. Okay, so here's the next thing that, that infuriates me. Remember when I went to talk to the crazy guy in the other room? I'm gonna rock, go back in just to make sure here. When I talked to the crazy guy on the left side of the hall, when he grabs Alyssa, I didn't get a button prompt, right? Remember? Oh, she's gone. Is she hiding back here? No. She's just gone. So, yeah. I didn't get a button prompt when I, um... Went to talk to Kaplan over here. Now, the, according to the game, now I'm supposed to go trigger that same cutscene as Alyssa, but now I get a button prompt because I've done enough stuff. That is some grade A horseshit. Why would I? Why would I go and do that when I when last time it didn't work? <laughs> it's all over. He's the one who did it. <laughs> Excuse me, but... Huh? You? Those creatures can eat you instead of me. And while they're chewing on you, I can escape. Yes, that's it. What a great idea. You've gone crazy. Yeah. <sighs> Same exact scene, but now I can mash. <laughs> Hurry up and get eaten! Who, who shot? What? Well, I do not have to do anything else in here. When you leave and a cutscene will take over. Okay. Just want to make sure I don't miss anything. can't forgive you. Who are you? That's not important. Thank you for rescuing me. Rescuing you? Only because I won't let you die so easily. Huh? Okay. Now what the hell do I do? Let's see. Da, 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 da. Return downstairs to hallway number two. Enter the first door along the back wall. Inside you will find Doug again. All right.
in here. Gonna make another save. This is be a nightmare without a walkthrough. After you've just kind of checked every room once, it's just a matter of bouncing back and forth a million times, and, um... This is where it's... Oh, there he is. Okay. You could you could easily miss him, that too. research lab is hiding some secret, and it's next door to this hospital. Research lab? Huh? For researching pharmaceuticals, mainly. I'm going over there. You coming with me? This is literally Resident Evil. Um. There's an option here? Um. Let's see. Da, 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 da. It says to say no, but what happens if I say yes? Because I just saved. I did just save, so I'm going to see what happens when I say yes. Okay. Well, I'll go over first. You come along later then, okay? Okay, never mind. This is probably an important choice. Doctor's not really making that clear. Hang on a second. Ugh, oh, this thing is fucking awful. Hmm. Oh, God. I don't know. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to load my game. I'm going to... This... The, the section I'm on currently doesn't take me to the best ending. So, I'm going to say no like the walkthrough here says. Ideally, what I want to do is go for the true ending next episode when I do the last chapter. Assuming chapter three is the last chapter. So let me know if this is an important requirement if I don't already know in a walkthrough by then. And no, no, Alyssa, Alyssa, no. That research lab is hiding some secret and it's next door to this hospital. Research lab? Uh -huh. For researching pharmaceuticals, mainly. I'm going over there. You coming with me? Well, take care of yourself, then. Don't get yourself killed in a place like this. the significance of that choice. The same thing happens. So what does that mean? Does it affect the true ending? I don't know. Okay. Let's see. Talk to him when he asks if you wish to go with him. Say no. Return to hallway one. Go through the sliding doors. Wait, what? Go through the sliding doors. What do you mean go through them? They won't open. So now they're just magically gonna open because I've seen enough stuff. Fucking hate that so much.
Yeah, they're just open now, because fuck you. Door's locked. No, it's locked. Let's get out of here. The door's locked. Stand back. Oh, okay. Uh, what? What? Are you fucking- are you fucking serious? Oh my god. It- 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 it wouldn't- it wouldn't lock on! Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> what the fuck is this game? I, I, now I have to suddenly shoot waves of zombies? Oh no, it's locked. I can't skip this, can I? Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. The door's locked. Stand back. So here's the thing: it will not let you shoot until it has those little extra icons all over the zombie. But I don't know how to make those. Uh, shoot them with your shotgun if you let any get too close. Instant death. Okay, what, what, what's... Uh... Do I have to put it at their head for a bit? Yeah, I think. This is the worst freaking cursor for this right now. Oh my god, this is the- this is the most finicky. Okay, it won't even let you shoot a back zombie. Like, you have to aim at the one that's closest, or aka, like, at the front of the line. Oh, this is awful. This is fucking awful. <laughs> oh my god. Come on! Oh! I, I cannot express. You have to try this yourself to really see how awful this is. This chapter is like a whole different game. Like, what was he, wasn't there like a curse happening? Oh, thank God, shoot her! Jesus Christ! <laughs> shoot fucking hell this game! Ah, uh, you're awake. You're unconscious, and I brought you here. Hope you don't mind. Now we're the, in the Umbrella yeah. Lab. Memorial Pharmaceuticals Research Lab. Yeah, I saw Philip Tate come in here. As a policeman, I can't ignore that, can I? My uncle? He's here? He's mighty suspicious. With all the evidence, he's gotta be involved somehow. 
No, that's not true. My uncle's the laboratory director. It's perfectly normal for him to be here. Well, in any case, you stay here. I'm gonna take a look around. Oh, goody. Oh, goody. Okay, I'm gonna, gonna save on this one. Let's see. The Fathers. Well, okay. The last nearly two hours of my life just happened, apparently. And I chose to spend them on this. I feel pretty bad about myself. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna end this episode here. Um, apparently, this section is very big, so it's gonna be fun. We're gonna have fun next time here. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and end the episode. Thank you all for watching. Um, give me a little time to get to get into the right mental state to complete this. That's it for now, and have a good night. Bye bye.